I don't think you can sit down and write a catchphrase. Mm. I think you can try, and f I guess from a marketing point of view, people do in terms of, c you know, yeah. commercials yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But no, the, the, the only time I thought about the Am I Bothered was um, I was doing it before we filmed the sketches, once, we'd, once they'd all been written. Yeah. Um, before I filmed them, I used to try them out in small theatres like the Soho Theatre yeah. or... Um, the Latchmere and places like that, and I'm pretty sure it was at the Latchmere Theatre, with you know, in front of about 30 people. Nobody knew who I was at all, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I started doing this "Am I Bothered?" thing, and said it first time. That was it. And then I hadn't written it in the sketch. It wasn't a repetition thing. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a riff thing. And the riff thing came just by trying it out in front of an audience because I heard them sort of pick up on it. And I thought in the moment, oh, should I push that a little bit? Yeah, and I yeah. did. And then they picked up on it again and it it really came quite organically out of the audience's oh. reaction that's absolutely true yeah. absolutely vital isn't it yeah. you can't create catchphrases they're created for you they by are the absolutely audience. created for you and as they were going out we heard a few people say am i bothered am i bothered and we thought oh maybe yeah. that'll yeah. maybe we should maybe i should do that in the actual tv show but it yeah. absolutely wasn't my intention